Hi, I'm Brenda Watson. I'm Director of Community Programs for Operation Fuel. On behalf of our agency, I want to thank the Liberty Bank Foundation for giving us this opportunity to apply for a $20,000 grant to expand our homeless intervention and prevention program. And happy 20th birthday. So Operation Fuel is a statewide nonprofit that provides a very basic need that we all take for granted. And that's for keeping the lights on and keeping the heat on in the winter. We developed the Homeless Intervention and Prevention Program four years ago when we discovered that families were being evicted from their homes because of a lack of electricity or families who were homeless were not able to be resettled into permanent housing because of a past utility arrearage. The Liberty Bank Foundation grant will make a tre tremendous difference for many families that we, uh, that we serve who would otherwise be homeless or um, at risk of becoming homeless. Your generous grant will help us to expand this vital program and ensure that the health and safety of countless vulnerable in individuals are, are met. We currently partner with three agencies in the state, Inspirica Inc. down in Stanford, Operation Hope in Fairfield, and Mercy Housing and Shelter Corporation. In 2013, we learned that there were 500 children in DCF custody simply because of poverty, that they could not return home because there was no home to return to, that many found families and individuals were displaced simply, again, because of poverty. The cost of basic human needs has risen so, so much that folks with limited income are, are not lining up with the cost of inflation. So the cost of food, the cost of uh, electricity, the cost of uh, deliverable fuels were driving people from stability to actually crisis. So by receiving a $20,000 grant from the Liberty Bank Foundation, we could expand this program and help up to 20 to 40 families either prevent homelessness or again, go from crisis to civility. Operation Fuel is a statewide program because of the partnerships that we have with fuel banks throughout the state. So we do have a traditional program in which we partner with 106 intake sites who provide our services. But we only have the three intake sites that deal specifically with homelessness. Discovering that the link between Poverty, homelessness, and energy unaffordability is what drove us to develop this program. We discovered that we could take a very small amount of our funding and really make a huge difference. So a simple $50,000 investment was able to help nearly 75 families in the first year of this program. And now we've up we serve over 210 families and individuals with $134,000. There was one family in particular that I remember in Stanford. The gentleman who had lost his wife was left as a single dad with his two daughters. And he was on the brink of homelessness until Inspirica Inc. was able to intervene with a $1,000 grant from Operation Fuel to help this family of three remain stable and remain together. So programs like Inspirica and Operation Fuel and grants from the Liberty Bank Foundation coming together as one unit to basically save a family is the reason why I do the work that we do. And we have such a dedicated staff who are, whose hearts are so intertwined in the work that we do they provide the best of the best in customer service to the field banks that we partner with and ensure that paperwork is, is submitted on time and processed in a timely manner. As we observe Operation Fuel's 40th anniversary, we hope that our HIP program is a perfect example of how we continuously are looking for new ways to help Connecticut households with their home energy needs. Happy birthday, Liberty Bank Foundation. Thank you for all that you do. Yeah. <laughs>